Five points you should know about breach of trust before you accuse somebody. Number one, breach of trust can only take place if the crime's object was a movable property, whether it was money or document. Article 404 of the UAE Penal Code provides that any person who embezzles, uses, or diminishes funds, instruments, or any other movables which were entrusted to him in a fiduciary capacity and causes damages to the person who holds title to such funds, instruments, or any other movable is guilty of breach of trust. The text of the aforesaid provision specifically makes reference to movable property as a critical ingredient central to the offense in order to establish the crime of breach of trust against the accused. Number two. Breach of trust takes place when the accused embezzles, uses, or wastes what was delivered to him without a legal right. The primary element which comprises a breach of trust offense is the assumption that the property central to the offense was already in legal possession of the accused. It's important to note that the possession here was in a fiduciary capacity without any right to the title of the property. Accordingly, the offense of breach of trust requires that the accused committed the offense intentionally and with full knowledge giving reasons to imply that the accused was dishonest in his conduct and dealings. Number three, in order for breach of trust to take place, the accused must receive the possession of the object only in one of the following cases, as a lease, trust, usage, mortgage, or proxy. In the criminal breach of trust, the property is given on trust and is dishonestly misappropriated or used or disposed of in violation of law. In criminal breach of trust, Prior to the offense, the offender is himself in possession of the property, and the offense is completed when he dishonestly converts the same to his own use. Accordingly, in order to prove the offense of breach of trust, one needs to first establish that a contract exists by which the property was handed over to the accused through legal arrangements such as rent, loan, mortgage, pledge, or agency. Number 4. Unlike theft and fraud, in order for breach of trust to take place, the victim must suffer damages. One crucial point where the offense of breach of trust takes a departure from the offense of theft or fraud is that in the latter offense, the accused acquires the property by virtue of fraudulent means, while in the former, the accused already has a legal possession of the property. Accordingly, Article 385 of the UAE Penal Code provides that the offense is completed as soon as the property is dishonestly taken away. We must note here, in a breach of trust case, the offense is only complete once the victim suffers damages, resultant of the wrongful conduct of the accused with the property he was entrusted with. Number 5. In a case where a shareholder prevents the other shareholders from practicing their legal rights on their shares and takes those shares for his exclusive interest, such a shareholder can be charged for breach of trust. The text of the provision of breach of trust explicitly provides that the business partners of a business hold shares of other shareholders on trust basis. Accordingly, the provision attracts partners of a business with respects to shares of other partners. Therefore, the provision enables an aggrieved party to pursue criminal case against another party for such criminal acts of the other party. To receive more informative videos from our channel, click the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Please feel free to like, share, or leave a comment or question which will be answered in our next videos.